So for today's Retro Bat setup guides, we are taking a look at the very old school retro Nintendo Game & Watch. So from time to time when you're scrolling through your ROM folder in your Retro Bat directory, you would have likely come across Game & Watch. Maybe you pop some games into your Game & Watch ROM folder, but you're not getting artwork in the case for your games like I've got right just here. So I'm going to be showing you how to do that, as well as recommend which emulators or which cores within Retro Bat works best for this system so if you really want some old school action check this one out <laughs> Okay, before I start today's Retro Bat and Gaming Watch setup guide, if you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content. And also just to say, I've got a massive playlist at this point for different Retro Bat setup guides just like this one today that you're watching. So we're looking at game and watch today and how to set this up in Retro Bat. So undoubtedly, a lot of you would have probably just placed some games into the ROMs Gaming Watch folder and notice there's no artwork or anything like that to go with it. So we're going to look at that today. And uh, for those of you who want to know a little bit of history about Game & Watch itself, let's just say uh, this was the precursor of the Nintendo Game Boy. So at this point, Nintendo obviously realized there was a big market for that portable gaming. Uh, so what we're going to do then, first of all, is go up to the RetroBat shortcut as always. Right click on it, open file location. Uh, we're going to go to Bat UI and once we're in back to UI just go to system list and under emu station system file if you've got a list just here just make sure this one's set to es underscore systems under system just here we're going to just scroll down until we get to gw and here we go this is for gaming watch so file extensions need to be in uh, .mgw, .zip, or .7zip. Now, I'm going to be using .zips for this. I find they work best. And under cores, the retro, retro arch, we got GW, which is the default, and we also got main to use. So let me just remind you, if you don't have this drop-down menu, then follow my fully comprehensive setup guides for retro bat. It's very likely you're missing direct X installation as well as Visual C++. But do check out that setup guide. So if we just close out of here, first step to take is just go down to the ROMs folder. And in ROMs, we're going to scroll down until we come across Game & Watch. And here it is. Now, I've got my games in zip file extension. And I'm going to just copy and paste all of those Game & Watch games, 59 of them, inside of that RetroBat ROMs Game & Watch folder. Uh, first thing we need to do is open up RetroBat and install MAME64. So let's open up RetroBat. Okay, so instantly we're going to see Game & Watch. If we just go inside of Game & Watch, so games have now appeared because they're in that .zip file extension. First thing I'm going to do is recommend press and select on your controller or backspace on your keyboard uh, to open up view options. Then we're going to go to Advanced System Options and under Emulator, I'm going to just scroll down to Main64, select it and come back out and just open up any game from here. This is going to prompt us to install MAME, so I'm going to just press yes on this to install MAME64. Oh, so we got our game, but it looks a little bit bland. We got no artwork for it, and we can do this very simply. So what we're going to do is just exit out of this. We're going to exit RetroBat altogether, so main menu. So we're back on the desktop, and I've got artwork folder. Now, this is all the artwork for my Game & Watch games. 
Now, you need to make sure that the artwork is titled or named exactly the same as the game.zips. So, for example, uh, my ROM, my game of uh, the ball game just here at the top, uh, it's going to say GNW underscore ball. And this is the same for the artwork. So, they need to be named exactly the same. So, we don't need to extract these dot zips. We're just going to leave them be. And what I'm going to do is just press Ctrl and A to highlight everything and right click and copy so i've now made a copy of all the artworks for these game and watch games so what i'm going to do is head back into the retro bat directory open file location i'm going to go to the bios folder and in bios i'm going to find main if i go into main i'm going to find artwork folder and in here i'm going to right click and paste those dot zips containing the artwork so what we're going to do again is open up RetroBat. Okay, so let's open up Game & Watch again, and first of all, let's just scrape some artwork. So I'm going to go to Main Menu, Scraper, I'm using Screen Scraper, although I do find the Games Database does scrape some artwork if you're running low on quota with Screen Scraper. So Screen Scraper, and I'm going to just scrape these games. Okay, you know, so scrape and finish, update game list to apply changes. So main menu by pressing start, game settings, update game list, and yes. And if we go back into game and watch, we've now got artwork, as you can see, awesome stuff, along with some preview videos. So what I'm going to do then is open up a game and from view options, advanced system options, I find most games for Game & Watch uh, is either going to work with Libretro, Retro Watch Main or the Main 64. I find that most games work fine with Libretro Main. Uh, Libretro GW, I haven't actually had any luck with this one. Uh, so I'm going to leave this on Libretro Main and we've also got Main 64 that we downloaded is a backup too. So uh, Libretro Main and from here I'm going to just open up the game. So I'm going to go with uh, Mario Brothers. And here we go. So we have now got artwork complete with the game. And I'm also going to check out Mario's Cement Factory. Uh, it's probably one of the most common or very much popular uh, game and watch games. In fact, uh, the Commodore 64 had a port of this one last year. So what else have we got? Uh, we have got Pinball. Uh, not sure about that one. We have got Popeye. Let's check out Popeye.
Okay, so admittedly, I'm not sure how to play a lot of these games, uh, but at least I've got you set up with artwork. And let's check out Super Mario Brothers. I used to play this one as a kid uh, with someone from junior school. I've not played it since. So some of these games, it's going to take a little bit of getting used to with the controls, uh, as you can see. I'm not entirely sure how to play some of these, but you can see that the buttons are actually responding uh, when I'm pressing my controller. So I think it'll take a little bit of getting used to with some of these games. Like I say, I think um, the games work just fine. It's just getting used to the controls. And we've also got Zelda here. Again, no idea what I'm doing. Now, we still have options to change video settings. So, view options, advanced system options. Uh, under shader set, you're going to find curvature, enhanced uh, scan lines, that type of thing. Uh, we also got decorations to take a look at. But in all seriousness, if you want a real experience for gaming watch, I would personally leave everything to how it is. Uh, but the options are there, game aspect ratio. Uh, the thing is, if you're going to be changing game aspect ratios and decorations, then the artwork is potentially going to disappear. So I'll just go very careful uh, with doing that. Now, under drivers, if you find some games aren't working, your display isn't working, it's always useful going to video. Uh, by default, this is going to open up your games in OpenGL. Uh, most of the time, it's crossed between OpenGL and Vulkan. So if your games don't work, uh, just try one of these back end video drivers. So that's it for today's Retro Batting Game and Watch setup guide. Like I said, I haven't had a great deal of experience in playing with Game and Watch games, although uh, back in the day in the early 90s, uh, my mum and dad would take me to Rumbelows and me and my brother would pick up cheap LCD games. Although they weren't actually cheap, they were just really bad games. Uh, we're talking about times like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or Hero Turtles LCD game. You know, that big green plastic case game. Uh, we had many different games as well from uh, different manufacturers, but never any Game & Watch games. Uh, so anyway, that's it for today's video. If you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content also helps my channel out a great deal and also check me out on social media i'm on instagram facebook twitter and tiktok but until next time stay retro